You know, when it comes to finding a place for everything and putting everything in its place in the bathroom, do you often find like you're doing a square peg in a round hole kind of thing? I have, but I've got some solutions for you. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Around the House with Scott, where I give you tips, tricks, and hacks for living better inside, outside, and all around the house. Today, we're in my master bathroom. If you've watched some of the previous videos in my series, you know I've got a pretty small space. You've also seen, if you've watched those videos, how I've created cabinet storage inside the walls of my bathroom using the kind of borrowed space, if you will, in between the studs. And in this case of the linen closet, I went a little bit deeper into the kitchen and made another shallower cabinet in the kitchen. Watch that video for how we did it. But what I wanted to talk to you today about is making everything work without making yourself crazy. The first thing that I found out is doing what I call find the fold. My cabinet's kind of long and not real deep. And if I fold my towels the normal way, they just billow out and they don't work. So when I say find the fold, what I did is I took my towel and I figured out if I fold it in half like this, then if I go in thirds, magically I've got exactly the right shape that fits in my closet. And another tip is, you always have a fatter end here at one end. I alternate those ends so everything just stays nice and level. So you can see we've got a really nice storage area for the towels. The cabinet closes really nicely. That was the main reason for the video today was again, just finding the fold, working with the space you have if you don't have one of those giant walk-in linen closets like a lot of people have in their bathrooms or their hallways, for example. But let's take it a step further and look at some of the upper things here, how to get organized. I don't have the luxury of a medicine cabinet. so. What I did was, I'm a guy, but I still have my cosmetics, if you will. I'm a little old, I've got my wrinkle creams and all that kind of stuff. So I found just by using containers from different places, from Ikea, Target, wherever I could find, I can keep everything super organized and I can grab it out of here, set it on the bathroom counter, then I'm good to go, use what I need, and then put it back. Again, keeping everything kind of organized by category really helps. Got my clothes, et cetera, in here. All my hair stuff is right here. Then even getting further organized, I just found these cool little Sterlite brand containers. And I think Sterlite is a very, very inexpensive brand that you can find at Target, or if you're a Walmart shopper, you can go there. They're even online. They're kind of ubiquitous. There's so many different configurations of these Sterlite containers. I think these are like a buck and a half. I worked, again, I took my measurements of the cabinet, and then I just went shopping and kind of figured out what would work. Again, avoiding the square peg in a round hole. I want a square peg in a square hole. I think this works beautifully. Then taking again to the top, just one of the shoebox size cabinets up here for all my band-aids and stuff. I've got a cabinet that's super, super well organized. I know where to find everything. And I start and end my day in a state of relaxation because I know where everything is and it's easy to put away. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, be sure to like my channel, share it with anyone else that you think can get value out of today, and give me your comments on how I can create better, more informational videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching.